Okay, so we're going to get cracking with today's workout. We're going to start with three cardio exercises using the dumbbells. We're going to do those three times. They're going to be 25 seconds each, and then we'll move on to the next one. So grab your dumbbells, get ready to rock. I'm going to set the timer here. I'm going to start with a squat, rotate, and press. Yeah. Let me explain this one to you. Okay. So we're starting in 10 seconds. Let me just give you a quick demonstration. We start here with the dumbbells up in our collarbone. We squat, we rotate and we press, and then we alternate sides in three, two, one, and let's go. And stop, good job. Up next, we've got a side lunge. So we're gonna take the dumbbell in a goblet squat position. We're gonna side lunge out to the right, then back in and out to the left, and away we go. And stop. Okay, up next we got jumping jacks. Okay. In three, two, one, and away we go. And stop now. Back to squat, rotate, and press. So grab those dumbbells up again, press them up in the collarbone, squat, in the triple extension on the back leg as we press. And away we go. And stop. Now we're back to goblet squat position and into the side lunge. And three, two, one, and away we go. And stop. And up next, we got the jumping jacks. In three, two, one, let's go. And stop. Okay, on their last lap of these, start with the squat, with hit and press. Up on the collarbones. Ready to squat in three, two, one. Let's go. And stop. Up next, we got a side lunge from the goblet squat position. Three, two, one, and away we go.
and stop. Good job. And jumping jacks to finish this lap. In three, two, one, let's go. Stop, good job, grab a quick drink. We go on to the next three exercises. Okay, we're gonna have a wood chop to the left for 30 seconds, or 25 seconds, then we're gonna do a wood chop to the right. For 25 seconds, then we're gonna do a burpee and a single arm clean and press. So, let me explain how we're gonna do this. We grasp the dumbbell with both hands like so. We squat straight down the middle. We move over to the left with our hands. And we're going to triple extension, back down the middle, and up we go. So we're going to do that for 25, then we go right to left for 25. After that then, we've got a burpee and do single arm clean and press. So burpee position, up, grab the dumbbell, press it up, down, and repeat on the other side. Okay, so, uh, gonna get started with our wood chops. Going left to right in this one. Grab the dumbbell with both hands. Let's squat down the middle, over to the left, and up to the right. Three, two, one, and away we go. And stop, now we're gonna go right to left. And five, four, three, two, one, and away we go. Up. Now we got our burpee in the single arm clean and press. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Up. So we're going back to the wood chops, left to right. Grab the dumbbell in both hands. And three, two, one. Down the middle, over the left, and up to the right. Stop, now we're going right to left. And five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Up. Now we've got our burpee, single arm clean and press. In three, two, one, let's go.
So, now we're on the last lap. Wood chops left and right. Three, two, one. And away we go. Up. Now we're going right to left. Three, two, one. Away we go. Up and single burpee in the single arm clean and press in three, two, one. Let's go. Good job, okay, so, quick drink, and we got three more cardio exercises before we get on to the resistance part. So, up next, we got predator jacks, a dumbbell swing, and high knees. So, predator jacks, feet close together, clasp the hands, widen out like so, and if for any reason you can't do these, just do a squat instead, okay? After that, we've got a kettlebell swing or a dumbbell swing. Take the dumbbell like so, drive the hips up, replicating the kettlebell swing. And after that, high knees, which is just knees up nice and high. Okay, let's not put it off any longer. Brother jacks, starting in 10 seconds. Okay, so. Feet close together, hands in the middle. Three, two, one, let's go. And stop. Into the swing. And three, two, one, let's go. Up and into high knees next. In three, two, one, let's go. Up and back to Predator Jacks. In three, two, one, and go. Stop, 
And into swings next. And three, two, one, go. Up and back the high knees. And three, two, one, let's go. Up, back to Predator Jacks, last lap of these, and we go into the resistance work. In three, two, one, and away we go. Up and the uh, swings next. Three, two, one, and go. And stop, and finally high knees and you get a little breather. And three, two, one, oh, away we go. And stop, good job, right guys? So I'm gonna hit pause here for a second, grab a quick drink, then we go on to the resistance part of the workout. And we're back, all right guys, so on the resistance part of the workout, we're doing chest, followed by biceps today. So we're gonna do three chest exercises. We're gonna start with some push-ups. We're gonna try and hold the high plank and do the push-ups as much as we can. If you need to, you can go down to box push-ups, okay? But try and stay up in the push-up position for as long as you can. So after that, we're gonna go into chest flies. Chest flies. We bring the dumbbells in to meet in the middle, widen them out, and bring them back in. After that, we got the pinch press. Pinch press, you want your thumb over the top of the handle uh, on each hand, and just squeeze the handle with uh, the heel of your hand, and you're just gonna bring it down and press it back up, but the thumbs go over the top of the handle, not underneath, so you gotta squeeze them together to keep that dumbbell intact, okay? So I'm gonna use the dumbbells from the push-ups here. All right, feel free to do that if you wish. All right, it's gonna be 35 seconds of each exercise, and again, like the other format we just did, we're gonna do three sets of those and three laps, okay? And we're starting in 10 seconds with a push-up, in your own time, you don't have to rush these, three, two, one, and away we go.
and stop. Okay, now we're going to go on the chest flies. So we land flat in the back, dumbbells meeting in the middle, lowering them down, and away we go. And stop. Now we're going to do the pinch press. So, thumb over the top of the handle on each hand, squeeze the handle with the heel of your hands, and lower down your sternum and press back up. Yeah, keep those pecs squeezed throughout. And stop, okay, we're back to the push-ups. Let's get in position. Three, two, one, and away we go. And stop, now we're back to the chest flies. So raise those dumbbells up. And go on in three, two, one, and away we go. And stop, just take one dumbbell into the pinch press, thumbs over handle, not under. Squeezing that dumbbell with the palms, lower it down and press back up. And stop, and we're back to the push-ups, last set of these. Three, two, one, and away we go. Stop, back to chest flies. Dumbbells up. Three, two, one, let's go.
on stub. Now we got pinch press to finish off the chest exercises. And three, two, one, let's go. And stop. Good job. Okay, so have a quick shake out, grab a quick drink. Now we're going on the biceps after this. Oh. Okay. So, on to the bicies. So what we're going to do, we're going to do an isometric hold on the left while we curl with the right. Then when we hear the ding, we hold the right one. Then we hear the ding again. We go with the left ones, the curls. When we hear the ding again, we hold both. And then on second ding, we do double. All right, so it's pretty much going to be seven minutes of flat out bicep curls. It's not going to be pleasant, just to warn you. You're going to feel a burn, but that's a good thing. Okay, so starting in 10 seconds. So we grab, we bring the dumbbell up. So we're flexing the bicep, we're not resting then against the hip. And we're going to curl with the right, and away we go. You want that about somewhere between your chin and your chest is where you're looking to have the dumbbell halfway between. You don't want it too high up your shoulder, you don't want it too low, too low down past your chest. Hold the right one up flex, give the left one a dangle. Get ready to curl to the left. Don't rest it in your hip, just keep it down by your side and away we go. Now the first lap of these is nice and easy. It's it pretty tough. And now we hold both flexed, keep them both up. And ready to do double arm bicep curls in three, two, one, and away we go. Now we're going to keep the left one up, give the right arm a wiggle. And three, two, one, curling with the right. Now we're going to hold the right one flex, give the left one a quick shake. And three, two, one, curl to the left.
on, keep both flexed. Three, two, one, let's go. Now we're coming into the last lap. We're gonna keep the left one flexed. Up we go. Give the right arm a quick shake. And curl them to the right in three, two, one. Away we go. Like that left arm should really be burning now. Up through the pain. We got that. And hold the right one flexed. And ready to go with the left in three, two, one. And let's go. And both held flexed, coming into their last 35 seconds. Now don't just set them up in your chest, keep, them, keep the biceps flexed, and away we go. And got it out for the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Whoa! Should be getting a serious pump on there, guys. Right, well done. That's your chest and biceps done. Oh, hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you're all feeling the pump. Join me tomorrow for more of the same. Cheers.